I'm super excited. This was waiting for me outside my door. Yay, it's finally here. It is Escape Room in a Box, The Werewolf Experiment. They had one sent to me. Thank you so much. I can't wait to play it. Just wanna open it up and check out the awesome box here. No, do an unboxing on my channel. I never do that on The Haunt Girl. We never do unboxings. I probably because I can't cut boxes open. There we go. Now I'm getting it. Because you can't break stuff in escape rooms, so I'm not really good at breaking stuff, apparently. Unless I'm not supposed to. <laughs> and I'm significantly better at it. Anyway, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. How cool is this? I'm super excited. <clears throat> is a 60 minute game for two to eight players. 13 plus is the age limit on it, or the age suggestion, I suppose, on this. Um, it's Juliana and Ariel, yay. And it is Escape Room in a Box, the werewolf experiment game from the desk of Dr. Cynthia Naw. As your former colleague, I feel it is my duty to share this exciting breakthrough with you. I must warn you though, it comes with a price. Intrigued? You should be. This is unlike anything you've ever experienced before. Open the box and find out for yourself. So, I'm gonna go open the box. Yeah! Jeremiah and I are about to play Escape Room in a Box, The Werewolf Experiment. Excited? Yes. You're so far away. You're like a tiny person that can squeeze your head. Squeeze, I squish your head. <laughs> <laughs> for, for all of those kids in the hall fans watching your vlog right now, I'm sure there's a ton of them. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yes, I would. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set this up, see what's inside. Uh, ooh, this looks nice. What's this? All right, it, this looks very nice. There's all sorts of beautiful, nice writing and pieces. Everything looks really good. I'm sure there's some instructions I should be reading. It's just like an escape room expert to just dig in and not listen to the instructions. Just keep out over and over again. Yeah, and there's a big sign that says keep out. I'm like, let me look and see what's inside. The Werewolf Experiment, Dr. Cynthia Naw's secret stuff. Keep out. Well, I guess you can read the rules on the back of this page. So that's how the rules are given to you. <coughs> oh, we need some pencils. We're gonna need they don't give you any? And it says, you'll need a timer device and extra pencils. Looking at your phone, computer, encyclopedia for anything other than the time is cheating. Good thing I'm using my phone to record this so I can't cheat. If you need encyclopedia, isn't that outside knowledge? Right. Well, who just, I mean, I could be wrong. But who has encyclopedias just laying around their apartment these days or their You're house? You use your phone for encyclopedia, right? No. no, it says looking at your phone, comma, computer, comma, encyclopedia, comma, etc. For anything other than the time is cheating. So we only have pens. I think it'll be fine. I don't know. We're going to break rule number one. We're going to use pens instead of pencils. So set your, yeah, set your phone timer for one hour. You'll start the, don't start it yet. You'll start the timer after reading the next note. Rule number three, don't eat anything in the game. This should be obvious, but I work with a bunch of animals. A brain's not brawn. You don't need to cut, tear, punch, bite, claw, or generally destroy anything to complete your goal. If you pick the locks, use brute force, or do anything other than solve the puzzle to open the locks, the antidote won't work. You can't cheat. That's automatic werewolf territory, and there are not enough razors in the world to keep that body hair at bay. I'm going to play the game. I'm going to stop recording because I don't want to give away um, anything in the game, any puzzles or anything. We did it! In an hour and 15 minutes. But we did it, and we didn't turn into werewolves. This morning, I looked no extra fur, uh, just the normal amount of fur, which I'm a pretty furry person, so I'm already kind of a werewolf. 
Anyway, uh, we were going to review it last night together, but we were both exhausted. So I am reviewing it this morning so I can get this up. I really thought this was a very well done game. It's very difficult to make an escape room in a, in a box feel like an immersive escape room that you would physically go to a location. I don't know if it's possible aside from like the actual magical version of Jumanji where you get sucked into the game and you're in an actual jungle. Um, I can't imagine that you can ever completely achieve that feeling, but they came the closest to, of doing it to any home game that I've seen. And I think that they did an incredible job of adding all of the elements that you'd find in an escape room from locks to physical things that you touch to the puzzles, the puzzle flow, the way the things they, they did things um, felt very much like what you'd find in an actual escape room. And um, I just thought the fact that they added the searching, which I didn't know they would do that, but they did it and I thought it was really clever. Uh, and that thing that I normally hate in every escape room, and I'm always complaining about it. If you know my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Please don't write it in the comments. I don't want people to know if they don't know because I don't want to give spoilers, but they included it in this game and they did it in a very clever way. And it was really fun to see that as part of a home game because I do understand that it's something that beginners love in escape rooms. And if you never played one and this was your opportunity to play one, then it's cool that they got that opportunity to um, experience that. I mean, it's magic. It's cool. You know, like how cool. So anyway, um, without giving any spoilers, it's very hard to talk about the game, but there are a lot of puzzles. There are a lot of things to do. Definitely play it with a group of friends and um, <laughs> pro tip, play on a table or the floor. If you have hardwood floors, don't play on shag carpet. Don't play on your couch. Uh, we played on the couch and we moved to the floor because we could not keep everything straight. There was a lot to this game. It is not a simple game. It's very complex and complicated and, and, and challenging. Um, so you want to make sure you have everything where you can find it and there are tiny little pieces that you could easily lose in your couch and that could really screw you up. So play on a hard surface that's large enough to put everything out and I mean like a regular size table, not the little TV tray that we tried to play on. So we ended up moving to the floor because we just couldn't keep track of everything and if we had dropped some of these pieces into the couch, we would not have completed the game. So make sure that you, you make sure you have the proper space to play the game before you start so you're not moving everything halfway through. Um, yeah, there's a lot to do, it's fun. Um, have a couple extra pencils with erasers laying around before you start. That was one of the things that we ended up going and looking for through the game because to write in pen, we'd have a hard time we can erase and go back and see if we'd mess something up. So um, that's another pro tip, have a couple of extra pencils with erasers laying around so that everybody has a pencil. Um, what else? I just, it's a, it's a well done game. I had a really, uh, I had, I had a really fun time. The concept was cool. I did struggle a little bit with the flow of the game, but again, I don't know if that was the game or if that was the fact that we started out playing on the couch and we didn't have everything in a logical place for us to find it. So it might've been the way that we had started the game. We were a little off at the beginning. And so the flow was a little off for us. Um, but it did feel much like uh, an escape room, not a linear escape room, but uh, an escape room that has um, multiple things that you could be doing at once. So, so that was nice. Um, you could definitely play with a group of friends and everyone could keep busy doing something. Um, yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about the game. I thought it was really well done. I think it's the best home escape room on the market that I've seen and I've seen several of them. Um, I do want to thank the creators for sending it to me or having it sent to me by Mattel. I'm very uh, grateful that I got to play it. I thought it was really well done. Uh, good job and congratulations on the success of the game so far. I look forward to the next one. <laughs> I hope that you're creating another one because it is great. Um, and if you have friends, if you're watching this and you have friends that enjoy escape rooms or puzzles or haunted houses even, please let them know about my YouTube channel and my blog, thehauntgirl.com, where I talk about escape rooms all around the United States and haunted houses all over the United States and uh, home games like this and then some other random stuff, but mostly I stick to those. Uh, please also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and um, go check out the blog, thehauntgirl.com. Thank you. Thanks for watching.